evening to you, all our viewers. Good evening to you. My name is Apostle Henry Rudokeno of River Supply Bible Church. I'm coming to you from the uh, from the airwaves of Majestic Christian Television Network. As you must have joined me last week uh, in my new topic, which I called Divine Release, I want to continue on that particular topic, Divine Release. Say after me, Divine Release. Amen. Shall we pray? Father God, I bless you and I thank you for the hearing of your word and the speaking of your word. May you perform even as we speak, Lord, your word, which is unchangeable. I thank you that all our listeners and our viewers, wherever they are, uh, they are right now in different parts of the world, that this particular moment shall be unique and special in their life. You will usher them into a place of miracle. I bless you, Jesus. With us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I said to us that this is our divine month, a month of divine healing, a month of divine assurance, a month of divine restoration, a month of divine release. Whatever you call this month is what is going to be for you. Because the seventh month, seven, the number seven in the biblical numerology is a, is a number of, of perfection. It signifies a number which is unique. And we have ample of examples in the Bible where, where God performs so many things, so many miracles, so many visitations. In the seven hours, seven, months, seven minutes, things happened. Seven loaves of bread which was being used to feed the thousands of people. All of those sorts. So this shows us that that number seven means a lot. And uh, for me in particular, I think it's, it, 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 it is a month of divine release. To be released from something means to, to, to be liberated from a care or to be liberated from pain or to be liberated from whatsoever has been given you uh, a, a cause of concern. It can be a burden that you can't yet. It can be an obligation you have been entangled and you see yourself compelled to do it even when you don't feel like doing it. This very much God is going to give you a divine release. Can I hear amen? God, maybe some of you who are watching me, you have carried a burden and it is like a yoke upon your neck. You want to drop that yoke. You want to drop that burden. It's like, it's like it is too heavy. Listen to me, sweet one. Jesus say, come unto me, all ye who are weary and of a heavy burden. Uh, come unto me. Come unto the side of Jesus this very month. I call you to come upon, come unto that side where the yoke of Jesus is light to carry. He said he will give you a lighter yoke, not a heavy yoke. So in this very man, somebody is going to receive a, a release from that heaviness you have carried, that heavy burden, that yoke you have carried, that, that entanglement that, that have robbed you, that discharge of duty, which you don't want to do, but you see yourself doing it. My God is going to set you free. Can I hear Amen? Most of the time when preachings like this are coming, people easily say, oh, it's not about me, but just hold on for a while. I'm going to take you to a scripture. And that scripture is going to make you to begin to think, oh, it's about that girl who is there. But you're going to see yourself before I finish this preaching, that somehow along the line, you've been carrying some yoke, you've been carrying some burden, you've been discharging duties which you don't feel like discharging. It's, it's under compulsion that you are doing them. But in this very month, God Almighty is going to set you free. God's divine power will come upon you. God is going to send forth some word which you are going to hear. It may be from Majestic Christian Television Network. It may be from another pastor. I don't know. But the word of the Lord is going to come and it's going to set you free. Your eyes will be open and you will know that you have been under bondage and you will be set free. Say a big amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, we know this scripture very, very well. And most of the time when we are reading it, we always say, hmm, this damsel, this damsel. I'm talking about Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, from the book, from, from verse 16, where it talks about Paul and Silas on their way to go and pray. They met a certain damsel. They met a girl who was under 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 bewitchment. 
and she, she was practicing sorcery because people have hired hired her and then they are maneuvering her manipulating her without her own self-will and then when she saw uh, uh, people she could easily say things about them she could easily tell them about their present their future and the past so she was using that to make money for her boss who have employed her <laughs> you see when we read it we always talk about that woman but we talk about that young lady who was doing those things and then we look at her with a point well from the point of view that she was a sorcerer we look at her from the point of view that oh she was a mean woman or she was a woman who doesn't know what who who, who was who was too bad but how about if you will understand and take a little bit time to study that scripture very well you will see that this woman was under compulsion she was doing what she never wanted to do this woman was doing something which was yielding interest for some other person mm -mm -mm. she was just a, a puppet being used being abused and being, being manipulated to be making profit for other people. She was making profit for her boss. And, and then this thing comes upon her and make her, she talks like a talkative. So the Bible tells us in the book of uh, Acts of the Apostles chapter 16 that this lady somehow noticed uh, uh, Paul and Silas on their way to go to pray and then while they were just on their own way doing their own thing this lady began to prophesy began to you know cast her sorceries began to speak oh these are the servants of God who know who have come these are the real servants of the Lord who, who worship the real God they, she began to just praise and praise and praise and he praises upon them and some of you may read the scripture and then, then you will say after all what is wrong let's just read it the Bible say from verse 16 of Acts of the Apostles chapter 16, the Bible said from verse 16, it said one day as we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a young servant woman who had an evil spirit that enabled her to predict the future. She earned a lot of money for her owner by telling fortunes. She followed Paul and us shouting, these men are servants of the Lord. They are servants of the Most High God. They announce to you how you can be saved. She did this for many days until Paul became so upset that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I order you to come out of her. The spirit went out of her that very moment. When her owners realized that their chance of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the authorities in the public square. They brought them before the Roman officials and said, these men are Jews and they are causing trouble in our society. First, they lied against them. You can see that. They are teaching customs that are against our law. We are Roman citizens and we cannot accept these customs and practice them and practice them. And the crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas. Then the officials tore the clothes of Paul and Silas and ordered them to be whipped. After severe beating, they were thrown into the jail and the jailer was ordered to lock them up tightly. Upon receiving this order, the jailer threw them into the inner cell and fastened their feet between heavy blocks of wood. Can you see that? Can you see that Paul and Silas, they were on their way to go and pray, only to meet this lady who became like a talkative. She, became, she began to speak. Oh, who, she, this lady thought she was doing them good, by the way, by announcing them, these are the real men who have come to show you the way to serve God. These are the real men who have come to show you the way of salvation. These are the real men. My God, he, she was really heaping honor upon honor. If it were to be the preachers of today, they would love it because they did not ask anybody to... To, to advertise them and this lady was just advertising them 
today. You know, if it were to be today's preacher who loved to take glory for themselves, they will love what that girl was saying. They will love it. You know, have you not, have you finished preaching one day when somebody will just come out from the church and then this is somebody who doesn't pay tight, but she will begin to tell you, oh, pastor, you know, you bless me today. What you preach today really reached my bones. It reached my marrow. Oh, because I don't really hear this in, in this church where I have been in. Oh, can I have your card so that I can use your card to be calling you? Be careful about people like that because they are heaping honors upon you and then trying to dishonor the people who have been feeding them spiritually. Most of the time, as guest speaker, you will find people who cluster around you because they want to say things like this. And most of the time, they stroke our, they stroke our, they strike our ego, or they push our ego. Because when you hear that, oh, your preaching really touched me, then you, 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 you begin to think that oh, I've landed. People like that, they just lie, they lie. It's a spirit that's trying to use them. So Paul saw behind what this young lady was doing. Paul saw the handwork of the devil in this young lady. Paul saw that this lady was under severe manipulation and control of a spirit. Paul decided to cast away that demon from that from that young woman. My God, what you have to know here is that this lady didn't know that that day would be the end of her, 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 her you know, her proclaiming or, 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 or prophesying or on paper. To this lady, she was doing this thing unintentionally, not knowing that she was just working for the devil. Are you hearing me, somebody? So she, she, she was just doing this under compulsion of her boss, who must have put a spell upon her. And that is what is happening to some, some, some of you who are listening to me right now. There are certain things that are happening your way because if we try to examine this scripture very well, you will see that this woman was doing what? It has situation was was a sympathetic one. Have you thought about sometimes when you don't feel like doing something, and then there comes your 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 peer pressure, your 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 peer pressure, your people in your peer group trying to force you to adopt a title you didn't want to. They try to 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 lure themselves or manipulate you with some words and manipulate you with some certain things, and then you 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 yield to their manipulation. Sometimes it is not even people who are outside. Sometimes it is people inside. Your own family members who would like to use every means to demand something from you or to want to control and manipulate you. Most of the time, those of us who are in Europe, it's like we are just working for our family folks who are down there. They sit in Africa, most of them do nothing because they have it in their mind that they have brothers and sisters in abroad. So before the year ends, before the month ends, they have already put their shopping list and put all that they want you to, 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 to minister to them. So they will begin by all who can corner just to suck money from our hands. They start from one life to another life. This person is sick. This person, this is investment we want to make in the family this month. This, is, uh, this roof is leaking in our home. This one is... So they do all of those things just to manipulate. And just because we know most of us who are kind-hearted, you cannot afford not to do what they are telling you to do. So there is a particular thing that is taking on due advantage of you through even your family folks. But as you hear the sound of my voice, this very, this very month, you will be set free from the control. So this lady saw herself just working for her boss. And the purpose was to prophesy, to speak about people and make money. My God. At the end of the day, ask me if they paid her. At the end of the day, she has no interest. She has no, no income coming to her or whatever she can retain. But under compulsion, the following day, she has to just do the same thing. This is the situation with many of us. Many of you who are watching me right now, you are under this category. If you are not under this category, uh, you, you may belong to the category of Paul and Silas who went out, if we begin to examine them, who went out to want to go and pray and in their process of going out, behold, something happened. They landed, they saw, they, 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 they saw an incident which was very provocating. They saw an incident which demanded mercy. They saw an incident whereby uh, uh, a lady had been turned to a talkative. So they felt that they had to appeal to God to, to cast away this demon from this girl so that this girl can be made whole. Many of you are in this situation today. There are so many things which you have done 
and uh, when you did all this, you did that in a good spirit. But here, somebody has misconstrued you. You have been misunderstood. So after they sent away this demon that was tormenting this young lady, they were misunderstood. You will, you will, you will expect that people who have done such wonderful, wonderful oppression or wonderful um, or, or deliverance upon this young woman, you will expect that the people, the villagers who have been seeing her talking and talking all the time would have, you know, appreciated what they did. Rather, they gathered against them. The, the, the beneficiaries saw that they were no more getting, getting money. They saw that they have lost their business. They gathered and they teamed up against Silas and uh, Paul and Silas. And what did they do? They were allied against them. Are you going through such a process today? Have you done something good? And after you did something good, instead of them to reward you with goodness, they rather rewarded you with evil. They lied against you. They lied against you. They rumored against you. They, 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 they gather people against you. And your good is now being evil spoken about. If you are like that, and because they spoke evil against you, they have brought you to shame. And they have put you into a place of imprisonment. Listen to me. God is going to speak for you. Nobody may have been able to speak for you, but God in this very month is going to speak for you. Can I hear amen? You know, sometimes when I listen to the things that are happening in some families, and I listen to what people are going through just because they did good, and how they have been misconstrued, how they have been judged, and how they have been imprisoned, it, 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 pains, it, it, it pains my heart. It pains my heart. It pains my heart because you wonder, how could people do good and their, evil, their good have become something else? This was what happened to Paul. Paul and Silas. They did good, but their, their good was now torn to become something. People lied against them. People fabricated stories against them. And they were handed over to the authorities. And they were flogged and they were beaten, terribly beaten, messed up and even put them into nakedness and beat them. You know, they, 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 there was nothing more. There's nothing more. When, when, a, when, when, when they can strip people naked and beat them, this was what happened to Paul and Silas. Just because they did good. May the Lord God Almighty show mercy and compassion to you today. I don't know where you've been stripping naked. I don't know who have beaten you terribly. I don't know where they have controlled you, where they have tried to make you look ridiculous just because you did good. And some of you are listening to me. Your heart has become so hardened. Even, even, even presently, you don't like to do good anymore. I want you to repent. I want you to repent and hand over the matter to God because He is faithful. God is faithful to put all your enemies to shame. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you who are li listening to me right now, do, you know, the old things, things, things have gone so bad. Things have become so bad in your families. Things have, things have, things have, things, have, things tend to go too bad when they call you and you don't respond. You don't respond. Sometimes they will call you unexpectedly. More especially, some target the time the month is ending, and they begin to forward all their petitions, all their all their shopping lists. Some of them forward all their problems. Some of them will begin to suggest to you investments which you're supposed to go and do. You're supposed to buy this one, and you buy this one, and they remotically are controlling you. And when you say no to any of their demands, you know what? They quickly begin to lie against you. They lie against you among other family folks and then they lie against you even in the village and they make you seem so bad. If your situation is like that today, I want you to know that God is going to set you free. Hallelujah. God is going to set you free. I say he is going to set you free. He is going to, he is going to help you to cut off that which is a source of drainage. You know, I, there are some who are listening to me right now. Please examine yourself. Examine yourself carefully. There are some of you, even before the month will end up, will, will end up they, they, have, they have put so many problems they want you to come and solve. And because of the fact that some of you are kind-hearted, they just put so many problems around. Family folks bring so many problems around. Some of these problems are not really existing. Some of them are just something they created just because they know that you have soft heart. So they use it and they, they, they fabricate it and they put it before you and here you are. You cannot afford to sell no. So they have taken on your advantage of your kindness. But listen to me. God is going to set you free this very month. God 
God is going to open up your eyes and you can see how big their lives have been. God is going to harden you where you used to be so soft-hearted. God is going to make you to become a little bit hardened so that you will be able to be set, to set, to set free. Because at the end of the year, of the month, you see yourself struggling to meet up with your own personal needs, personal demands. You see yourself struggling to meet up with what you're supposed to do for yourself. Meanwhile, you are the one who have worked very hard. Mm. May the Lord set you free from the manipulations of our families. May the Lord set somebody free from. I am not against us helping our family folks. I'm not against that. But I become so sensitive when family folks use their their ties with us to want to lure us and to want to manipulate us. And before you know it, you enter into a bewitchment without you knowing that you have entered into a bewitchment. I give you an example. I have such folks in my family, and I have such folks as well in my marital family. I notice them. I saw. That at a particular time, at a particular moment, they want to just call. And when they call, they will begin to suggest this for us and suggest this to us. Sometimes even it puts me in argument with my husband. But when I began to pray, I said, God, you got to set us free from this because this is not normal. One time even I had to travel to my marital family, I saw that all the money that somebody had been taking all the time and saying, give me this money because I will need to repair a leakage. I will use this money to repair this. I will use this money to repair that. I found out that but what they claimed that they were repairing was really nothing. Because how can you be repairing a house that has no roof? How is it possible that you will be repairing that? So I saw that this is nothing but a drainage. Do you understand me? But how did I get the ability to put a stoppage to this? And it was because of prayer. Let me tell you one thing. When you arise in prayer this very month, there are certain things that are licking you up. There are certain things that are eating you up. Sometimes false, false, false suggestions for investment. Some of them will suggest, oh, we saw a house here. We want you to come on, invest in this plot of land or buy this house. And then you send the money only to realize that there is no house. Only to realize that there was no money, there was no, even nobody that they gave money to. They only squandered that money. My God. This was the situation with that maid, with that damsel we read in the book of Acts of the Apostles. But God is so unique. God made it possible that that damsel could begin to prophesy where Paul and Silas was. Hallelujah. Because there's always a time for God to say and uh, 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 for, uh, for, for, for something to come to an end. So I believe that it is God who has seen how these people have been or uh, how this lady have been have been over over overused. Why? Because it was time to be released. And somebody who is out there listening to me, let me tell you this very moment, your eyes are very are going to open very clearly. You are going to know the truth. And the Bible said, we shall know the truth, and the truth will set us free. In the book of John chapter 8, from verse 32, it said, we shall know the truth, and the truth will set us free. This is a month where God will set us free divinely. Hallelujah. That which have been trying to control you, and, 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 and falsify things, and then they make it look as if it is real, just because you are not, uh, you are not at home, you are living abroad, they can afford to lie and lie and lie and lie. And then they use their weeping to manipulate us. They use their, 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 their long stories and the long, long letters to manipulate us. They, they put up a, a face as if they are dying. They are using all of those things to manipulate us. Oh my God, this is very much. We are going to be set free. If you belong to the category, say, I hear you very well. You know, it is very sympathetic when you see people carrying burden. Those of us who are abroad, we are really carrying burden. Not just a small burden, a big one. My God. Carrying burden, carrying burden. When Jesus has set us free, we are still carrying burden. Carrying burden that is from the family folks. Indirectly, indirectly, we, we are being maneuvered by them without even us knowing. But wherever you are and you are hearing the sound of my voice, I want you to position yourself this month to say enough is enough. Why? Because the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus said, He has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. This good news you are hearing this hour is that you are going to have divine healing, divine restoration, and you are going to have divine release. Where you've been bound and where you've been crippled by lies, series upon series upon lies. My God, you will be set free this very season. Jesus said in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18, He said, He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery 
of sight to those who are blind, to set free the oppressed. To release means to be set free. To release means to be in liberty. This very moment, you are going to experience divine liberty. You are going to receive divine freedom. You are going to be set free from every hook and corner of lies that people have been using to hold you back. Say a big amen. That damsel was released from the bewitchment of his boss. Ah, my God. And, and even, even, even Paul and Silas, the Bible also made us to understand because whenever we read the scripture in the book of Acts of the Apostles from chapter 16, we don't read the other side. We always only talk about the release of Paul and Silas. But nobody is rejoicing that a damsel who was doing a job she never wanted to do was relaxed, was released. This very month, there are some of you who have been doing the jobs which are not supposed to do in your families. My God, because of pleasing the family members, there are so many women here in Europe who are into bondage of, uh, of her lottery. Some men who are here, they are into bondage of carrying, pushing drugs, whether they want it or not, just because they found themselves into the bondage of family, to please family, to help family, to this, this to family. Because when you have a close discussion with them, the only thing they say is, it's about my family. Receive your liberty today. Receive your freedom today. The Bible said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to declare what? Liberty to those who are in, uh, bound. To, to declare liberty to those who are in captivity. You may be in spiritual captivity and others are in physical captivity. But release is coming in this very month because it is the month of seven. God said at the seventh day there should be a rest. At the seventh year there shall be a death cancellation. At the seventh year there shall be a release. Receive your release in Jesus' name because this may be your seventh year. This may be your year of Sabbath. God doesn't want you to labor and to carry those things and to continue to hear all of those fabulous lies those lazy folks sit at home and just watch to be tagging and targeting when your next salary is coming they budget your salary for you without you budgeting for it receive liberty from their control and from their manipulation in the name of jesus christ say a big amen i feel excited now listen to me when you want to put a stoppage there is going to be an opposition just like paul and silas put a stoppage to that thing that was making that lady themselves look ridiculous. They put a stop me by casting away that demon and that landed them into prison. When you get up in prayer this very month, I want to put a stoppage to that which is making your family folks drown you empty. Every month you are on red and they use <laughs> may God help me. Every month, every month you are on red. Every month you see yourself not being able to meet up with your own needs. You are just like walking and walking a workaholic for the entire family be set free in Jesus name whatever they are using to control you whatever they are using wherever they have placed your name any altar of degradation where they have placed your name and they place your name and they are pouring libation upon that altar calling upon your name all the time so that you will always say yes some of them go to the essence of putting things in their tongue so that when they call upon you you will always say yes you don't know how to say no they Day, this very day and this very month, you will have the ability to say no to them. And the moment you say no, that control is broken. They may hate you. They may speak evil against you. They may want to put you into imprisonment like isolating themselves and keeping malice. Let that not bother you. God with you. You are greater than them. When Jesus is with you, I mean, you are at the winning side. You don't care about what any man can do. Hallelujah. Jesus, help me here. Help me, help me, help me, help me. So this was what happened to well, Paul and Silas. Just because they set that young woman free, the whole village gathered against them and began and began and, and began to speak about them and, and beat them, harass them, put them in prison. But the good news, something happened in verse 25. Verse 25, the Bible said of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, when they began to pray. Hey, when they began to pray, when they began to pray. When they began to pray, when they began to pray, the prison yard, the prison doors, the prison gates were broken, totally made open. 
the prison gates were made open where they were chained and, and chains were dropped out of their feet and out of their hand and not only this but also the chain that have locked up the other prisoners all were set free all of them were set free it was a moment of release because of their joyful praises unto God hallelujah you see one thing I want to assure you your release is going to set many other people free if only you can afford to do it the way of the Lord and you know do try not to uh, to yield to their demands anymore you and you're able to say no once you say no once you'll be able to say no to their to, to that peer pressure to that family pressure and whatever you call it which makes you to be like a yo-yo you can't have a decision of your own to make and people are making decisions for you the moment you're able to say no let me tell you you will you will be set free from that 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 that, 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 that uh, whatever which has been controlling your life indirectly many of us who feel that we are even free and who feel that we are born again tongue speaking holy ghost tongue speaking believers are still into bondage when, when you analyze this whole thing very well you will see if you're able to say no to family folks when they are pressurizing you you're not able to say no to your your peer groups when they are pressurizing you well, what they want you just to please them if you're not able to say no you can be you are under bondage just like that damn cell but this day Deliverance is coming your way. The Bible said, after Paul and Silas had been kept in imprisonment, and they sang, and they married, and they, and they prayed, the prison door was open, and they were released. And their release brought release to other prisoners. And, and it took them later to the officials of, the, of, the, of, the, of that city. Uh, and the officials get to know about them, and some of them gave their lives to Jesus. This is the same thing, your imprisonment is for a purpose, and your release is also going to be a purpose. If you will allow the Lord to work his work in your life, you will be set free. You will be set free, and your release is going to bring joy in the kingdom of God. Your release is going to bring prominent people into the saving knowledge of Christ. High, high people, people in high authorities, they will come to God because of your release. May the Lord bless you as you walk in in his in his will this very month may god may he grant you that sabbath may he grant you rest sabbath means rest may he grant you rest when you have been oppressed wounded and being dragged by family folks being wounded and being dragged by peers some of you they have ruined your life because you have no life to live except just picking up call answering call doing their will this very month let the lord set you free i thank god for your life and i believe that you're gonna use this word work with and don't forget, I'm not saying that we should not help our family folks, but what I'm saying is that you should not allow their control to ruin your own life. Be controlled by the Holy Spirit and not by family folks. Be led by the Spirit and not by family folks. It is good to help them, but let them let them not be the people who will control you. May the Lord richly bless you. May Jehovah God, who is the God of Israel, Yahweh of Israel, may he set you free from every bondage which you have found yourself operating upon. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Say a big amen. Hallelujah. Once again, my name is Apostle Helen Rudokino of Rivers of Life Bible Church. So in case you may want to reach me, you give me a call even or text me. You can text me. You can text me of some of these areas we've discussed today. I will stand in prayer with you. My telephone number, I believe, is on the screen. You may text me. And some of you who are also listening, I'm calling you to support what we are doing in majesty. If you feel that you want, you, you may support me on, on being on, on air all the time. Please, just... You, uh, just just go to our website you will see our bank account there and make some deposits any amount that you give unto us to re to remain on the air is not too small remember the gospel have to go around before the coming of the lord jesus and whatsoever you do uh, for majesty you are sowing in a very fertile ground and god will richly bless you bye